Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a video all about the new Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oils and before I get into this video I just wanted to make it clear that Ilia has a lot of work when it comes to, they have a lot of work to do when it comes to the black community and other people of color. They need to expand their shade ranges and they need to do a lot of work in their hiring area. Uh, hiring people of color, hiring people with deep skin tones, hiring people out of the white mindset because a white person cannot know exactly how to make a product for someone with a deeper skin tone and instead of getting black creators to help them out or to be the face of their company they need to hire those people get those people's inputs and really create a makeup line that caters to all people especially in their complexion products like their serums foundations and their bronzers and blushes they have a lot of work to do and i really hope to see changes within the next few months from them because if we don't see changes by the end of 2020 i don't know if it's a brand i can continue supporting because enough is enough they've had enough time black people mattered and existed before june of 2020 so i just wanted to get that out of the way and make that really clear that by making this video i am not ignoring that at all but i had already ordered these three glosses and i don't want to return them just to put them in a landfill and i did have people asking me about swatches so take that with you will um don't take me buying these as a reason that you should buy them definitely think about what your morals are um what you want to do with those kind of brands there are brands i don't support and then there are brands like Ilia that i'm kind of waiting to see what they do but i'm not the one who is accepting their apologies i'm not accepting any apologies that they have made because that's not up to me i don't have that skin tone to determine if the products work for me but i am waiting a couple of months i think by the end of 2020 is when i'll make the clear decision on all brands um and see how other people with deeper skin tones if they can make their products work and how they're responding to that and go off of that so i'm sorry if that didn't make sense i'm happy to have a conversation in the comments dm me on instagram about this um i'm sorry if anyone is offended by me making this video so like saying stuff about Ilya or praising their products i don't want it to be that way if you don't support them I'm just giving you this information before we get into the actual information on the glosses so you can really determine like is this a brand I want to support, is this a brand I'm waiting until the end of 2020 to decide to support, or is this a brand I'm completely fine supporting. I can't make that decision for you, it's your money. But especially being on YouTube, even with a small platform, it is important to say. So anyways, I'm going to get into these glosses. I have some notes and I have comparisons to other glosses like the Kosas and the Tower 28 ones that... I think might be helpful for those of you who have some of those glosses or are looking to get any of those glosses so let's just get right into it so i have three colors and i will be doing swatches and lip swatches of all of these i don't have anything on my lips right now but i have the shade only you which is a light they call it a neutral pink but to me it's more of like a neutral to cool toned pink it's not too cool but it is in that neutral range and it is a light pink but it's not super light that i can't wear it on its own um, so it's not like the buxom white Russian where it's super, super pale pink. I can definitely make this work, but it is on the lighter side. Then I have the shade of Petals, which is like a corally color. It's like a pinky peach to me, similar to Nude Stick Sweet Peach Peony, but on the pink side. I will swatch these products next to other products in my collection that I think they're similar to. And then the last one is actually my favorite of the three, and it's Tahiti. It's a nice, warm, neutral, pinky warm i don't know how to describe colors but it's just a nice deeper rosy color and i really really like it so those are the three colors i think what i'll do is i will swatch everything first because i think more people are interested in that and then i'll get into the formula so i'm gonna start with only you here's only you i'm gonna spread them out a little bit just because this is how it would look on your lips so that's what it looks like. It's, as you can see, it's not like too light of a pink and it's not too cool. It definitely is neutral, but I think if you have really warm undertones, this might pull a little bit too cool purple on you. So that's only you and I'm going to swatch um, Nude Sticks Bareback next to it. They're in the same kind of color category and a lot of people have Nude Sticks Bareback. So, as you can see, they aren't exactly the same. Nude Sticks one is a little bit more 
cool and muted and the Ilia one has a little bit more warmth and pinkiness to it but when I thought of Only You I thought of Bearback and so I, it might be interesting to you to see how they compare and if you have Bearback that is how they look and so I'm going to swatch it on my lips just so you can see what it looks like these are really pigmented as you can see but I like to wear them a little bit more sheerly and the alkylator is really nice because it's like a curved doe foot so it's really easy to get all over the lips yeah. okay and that is just dipping in once um one layer of only you i do really like this shade this isn't my favorite because it's almost too light for me i like a little bit of a deeper color but it isn't too light that i feel like i can't wear it I feel like it's just a nice neutral light pink that will go with a lot of looks. So here's Only You. My makeup is not the best today. It started peeling off. But there's Only You. I feel like it's really pretty and it can go with a lot of looks, but it's definitely pink. But I feel like this shade could be a lot of people's lips, but better. Okay, making a mess. The next shade is Petals, which is one that I was really interested in when I saw... So that is Petals. I'm trying to show you as best as I can. This one is like a brighter color. So this is definitely, to me, more of like a summery spring color. This is like a beautiful spring color. And it definitely is on the pink side, but it has some corally, peachy undertones. And I think it's really pretty. This is one that I don't like to wear too pigmented because I feel like it doesn't look good on my lips. But just worn sheerly, I feel like it is really nice. I'm sorry, I don't... I'm not very good at like these swatches. I don't know what else to say, but I'm going to swatch it with Nude Sticks Sweet Peach Peony. Again, I just feel like this is a shade that people have, and if I were buying it, I feel like it'd be helpful. So as you can see, they're in like the same color family, and they're both equally as bright, but the Nude Sticks one is definitely more like peachy orangey, and this one is more peachy pinky. But if you like Nude Stick Sweet Peach Peony, I think Petals will be really pretty, but again, it is more of a pink. I think a lot of, all of the colors I have are definitely on the pink side. Um, I'm not sure about the others. They have some like red, orangey, and neutral ones, but for, to me, they all lean on the pinky side, but luckily I really like that. So yeah, that is Petals, and let's just take off Only You, and I'll swatch Petals on my lip. So swatching Petals now. And I'm just going to do one dip, but as you can see, like, they can definitely be pretty pigmented, but they can be worn sheerly. So as you can see, when you apply a full layer, it definitely is very bright. It's almost like a bright pinky color, but it does have strong peach undertones. And then I'll blot it, but I just blotted it, and I'm wearing a really, really thin layer. And as you can see, it just gives a nice tint of like a peachy pinky color and I think it's really pretty. This is a color that I think will be really popular for fair skin tones and especially in the spring and summertime. This is a beautiful brighter but wearable color and I think like with a peachy blush like Nude Stick Sweet Peach Peony it will be gorgeous in the summertime. So this is another one that I think will go really well with like this color story from M Cosmetics. Like just looks perfect. Like it's so pretty. The last shade is my favorite and it's Tahiti. So let me swatch it for you. This one is definitely deeper, but personally I like deeper rosy colors on my lips because I feel like I have pretty deep natural lips and it just looks better. I don't like light ones. I feel like it looks kind of weird. So again, you can wear it like more pigmented, like I'll show you. You can wear it either way, but this one is sheared out. Of course, it's not as patchy on the lips, but it's just a nice, sheer, deep, warm color that I think looks so pretty. I think this is one of their, like, universal ones that I think anyone would look good in. Um, it might look dramatic on really fair skins, but I think on deep skins, this is, like, a beautiful color. And then if you have my skin tone, I also just think it's really, really pretty. I will swatch it next to Kosas Dip because I thought they were going to be really similar, but they really aren't. So... I think if you like Kosas Dip or you like colors like this, you will like the Fenty one, or not the Fenty, the Ilia one. 
but Kosas is definitely more of like an orangey warm and this is more of a ready warm if that makes sense so I'm not good at this if you have any questions I can like send you pictures of swatches um, I also have a picture that I sent to Kyla I can put up on the screen sometime throughout the video I'll put it right here let me swatch it on my lips and continue talking about it So there's the pigment without blending it out and as you can see it just kind of blends in to my natural bottom lip color. I love this color. This is definitely my most worn color. I just feel like it's a really good My Lips But Better lip gloss. It adds color and makes me look a little bit more put together but it's not too deep at all. I think if you don't like deeper lip glosses you might not like this. I always gravitate towards a mid-tone rosy nude gloss. I don't like light lip glosses, so this is like my perfect shade. I seriously love this so, so much. It is a little bit pinky, but again, I just feel like it looks like my lip color. And I am filming during the day. I do have a ring light, but I have my window open, so. I don't know, I just feel like this is a really, really pretty color that will look good on almost anyone. So if you don't know what color to get, I would suggest Tahiti. But again, I think the range has a lot of different colors that you will be able to find the undertone in the color family that you really like. But this one is my personal favorite. Okay, and then now to talk about the formula. Again, if you want more pictures or information about swatches or if you want me to compare anything in my collection, seriously just dm me i'm happy to swatch my makeup i love doing it but i that's kind of a personal thing that not everyone will want but if you want to see a comparison or if you want different lighting or whatever it may be i'm more than happy to do it just shoot me a dm on instagram i'm just gonna go over my notes and just go through the bullet points and talk about the lip gloss so the first thing i said is it's a mix between the tower 28 and coast house gloss in terms of formula so this one is so comfortable. It feels like a balm.com almost on the lips. It is not sticky at all. And the Tower 28 one is like a jelly that sits on top of your lips. And I feel like Kosas really sinks into your lips. And Ilya kind of does a mix of both. It still has the really nice shine that I think is comparable to the Tower 28 one. But it doesn't feel like it's slippery or it's sitting on top of my lips. I feel like it's on my lips but providing a nice shine over top if that makes sense. I think this and the Tower 28 one I really like the formula of both. The Kosas one really isn't my favorite because I feel like it kind of almost dries down like the gloss goes away really fast and then it's just kind of settled in my lips and I don't really like the look of it. Um, this one has more opacity than the Tower 28 one but can be sheer which I still stand by. I feel like these definitely have a lot more color to them compared to like looking at the Tower 28 one. You can just kind of tell. I'll swatch this one. You can just kind of tell it's on the top. It's just like a jelly. It's more of a clear gloss with color in it, whereas these definitely have a lot more pigment in it. So the Tower 28 ones are going to adapt to your lips and they're going to look different on anyone, everyone, but these are definitely going to have a lot more of their color, which can be nice depending on your makeup needs. I also put that you don't need a lot. I feel like for Kosas, some of the complaints are that you have to dip in a few times because the applicator is so small and it doesn't pick up that much formula, but because this is so pigmented and also the applicator picks up a decent amount, for my lips and for how I like to apply my makeup, I only need to dip in once. Sometimes I will use both sides of the applicator, but you really don't need that much of the formula to get a full color payoff, which I really, really like because you end up saving formula. And like I said earlier, it does have a curved applicator. So it is like a traditional doe foot, but as you can tell, it has a little bit of a curve to it. I don't think it's hard to apply. It's easy to stay within the lip line and clean up. It feels like a thin cream gloss to me. So again, I feel like it feels like a Glossier Balm.com, a mix between the Tower 28 and Kosas one. And also it almost feels like a really thin glossy version of the NYX matte lip creams. So it's almost like a creamy gloss, which I don't want you to be put off by that because it's not thick at all. It is so thin and creamy and glossy, but because of the color, I feel like it's not like a translucent gloss. I don't know, I feel like 
It has more pigment than some of the other glosses I have. I don't know how to describe it. There is no glitter, which the Coast House one does have some shimmer in it. These are completely matte, and there's also no scent to them, which some people really look for in a lip product. But, I don't know. The formula is really unique, but I feel like a lot of people will really like this formula, especially if you like, like, the Glossier Balm.com, or just a good staple, non-sticky doesn't move around too much creamy lip gloss that isn't sticky i already said that it also is super 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 comfortable i never feel like it dries out my lips i never feel like i want to wipe it off and i just really like it and i feel like it lasts a lot longer than my kosas ones and probably even my tower 28 ones i haven't done like a full test on it because i'm not super picky with my makeup but i wore this for at least an hour or two and i still had to wipe it off so i feel like I don't know. I feel like it's pretty long wearing for a gloss. I feel like the shine doesn't last as long as the color, which is pretty normal, especially as you eat and drink. But the color itself, I feel like stays on the lips pretty well. But again, that's going to be different for every person, depending on what you do throughout the day and also just how it reacts with your skin. In terms of how much product you get, the Tower 28 one has the least amount of product. Ilya is right in the middle and Kosas has the most. So you get... 0.14 fluid ounces or point or 4.3 milliliters pretty average amount again tower 28 is cheaper but you don't get a lot of product in those glosses but these are like really tiny like compared to my hand that was not a good comparison but like here's the compared to the kosas one like they're pretty much the same size but you still get a pretty decent amount of product inside so don't be fooled by them almost miniature look of this so i don't think i have anything else to say about these i'm really impressed with the formula i don't have many bad things to say about it besides like you just have to find a color that works for you if i could go back i think i might have only picked up tahiti and then either chose between only you and petals i will still use these a lot but if i ran out of them right now i wouldn't run to repurchase whereas tahiti is definitely going to be one of my go-to favorites so those are my thoughts again what i said at the beginning take some time to think over what Ilya is doing and we definitely need to keep an eye out for what changes they're making what they're doing for the bot community and all of that stuff but just talking about the formula of these glosses and how i like these glosses i do really like them they aren't too lip oily they're not too sticky and glossy i feel like they're just a really good comfortable tinted lip glossy product which is what these are they're balmy glosses they're tinted lip oils but they're not sticky they i don't know they're just really nice if you have any other questions about the formula or if you want any comparisons again feel free to comment or dm me on instagram i promise when i say that i will respond and i am happy to see you guys respond or reach out to me because i really like interacting with you guys so yeah I don't have anything else to say about these glosses, but I'm really impressed by them. I really like this launch. I know there was a discount code when they first came out, but not anymore. I think right now with any purchase, you get a free um, mini of, I think the shade Linger, which is like a cool toned neutral with like some purple undertones. So if that interests you, that is there. But yeah, definitely let me know if you do pick up these products. Let me know what shade is interesting you the most. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to thumbs it up, subscribe, and check me out on Instagram. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!